welcome to my channel, Purposeful Play, where I talk about all things early childhood education. I'm Danielle, and I teach 4K in Wisconsin. Right now, I'm teaching 4K virtually. Hopefully, one day, we'll be back in person. We'll see. Today, I want to talk to you about my favorite songs in finger plays. I'm hoping that this video isn't too long because I have a lot of favorites. So, let's get started. I'm recording a couple videos today and I can't be bothered to change my sweater. So you get to see this a couple of times and you get to see my fruit right sitting right there. I see from my last video, which was um, week four of tree study. Anyways, my favorite songs. I wanted to tell you first that I made a while ago all these little pictures that are on sticks and they have magnets on the back and our helper of the day every day gets to choose I don't know, four or five or three, I can't remember, depending on the day, um, the songs that we're gonna do, and then they stick them on the board, and when we have time, we get to those songs. Um, I don't keep all of these, like this is only some of them. I don't keep all of these in a little jar at the same time. I kind of switch them up, and as we learn a new one, then I'll add that one to the jar and take a couple out. So. Let me start with a couple, I've got a giant pile on here, a couple of songs that I like. All right, a lot of them you already know, um, but I'm gonna still share them with you anyways. If you're happy and you know it. And then ask the kids for input of if they were happy, what could they do, what could they say? Also, maybe it won't be happy, maybe it's a different emotion that you're talking about. Maybe it's if you're sad and you know it, you wipe your tears. Or if you're angry and you know it, you cross your arms, you have a frowny face. Um, I know it's one we already do and always do, but change it up a little bit if you want to. Um, the other one, another one we all know, the itsy bitsy spider with the hand motions, but I change it. Sometimes I don't say the itsy bitsy spider. Sometimes I say the big fat spider went up the water spout and I sing it in my big voice or I might do the teeny tiny spider went up the water spout make my movement small and my voice really high just change it up a little bit um sing a good old ABC song this one we often do with instruments and we um march around the classroom like a little parade kind of thing and we use instruments and play our instrument to the beat of the music. Let me see what else is a good old one that we always listen to, always do. Oh, five little monkeys jumping on the bed. One fell off and bumped their head. Mama called the doctor and the doctor said, no more monkeys jumping on the bed. Is anybody old enough like me that you do your, mama called the doctor and the doctor said, yeah, kids are not gonna know what this is anymore. That's not, how they do a phone or this. Maybe they have to do this or maybe they have their ear AirPod thing in. I don't know, it's a good one. Um, Let's see, five little monkeys swinging in the tree. Teasing Mr. Alligator, you can't catch me. You can't catch me. Along came Mr. Alligator, quiet as can be. And he snapped that monkey right out of that tree. <gasps> there used to be five, now there are only four. I think my dog really likes that song. <laughs> He's needing a lot of attention right now. Um, this one is, I grabbed a little red balloon and I blew and I blew and I blew and it grew and it grew and it grew. I tossed it up the, into the air, but I didn't let it drop. I bounced it on the ground and it went pop. And then you ask somebody to tell them, oh, what color will your balloon be? And then you do it again with like a blue balloon or a rainbow balloon. Um, any song that I can get kid input on, um, they just love it a lot more than if I'm the one who's doing it. Um, let's see, bingo. I usually do it once with bingo, and then I use some kids' names. 
So let's see, you know, you write up Susie on the board. Um, there was a teacher had a student and Susie was her name. Oh, S U Z I E. And then when I, um, when we go to erase the letters, I give the eraser to one of the students and say, Oh, can you erase the letter S? So they erase it and then they draw a big dot where the S used to be. So we know that the dot is a clap and then we point to the letters. Um, and we usually do that maybe once or twice using, um, names from the kids in our class. They love it. They love being, um, having their name up there. All right. I had a little turtle. His name was Tiny Tim. I put him in the water to see if he could swim. He drank up all the water. <sighs> he ate up all the soap. And now he's home, sick in bed with bubbles in his throat. Or you can do it like this, throat. Um, this one. Susie got a haircut, a haircut, a haircut. Susie got a haircut and it's still long. So you go down a little lower. Susie got a haircut, a haircut, a haircut. Susie got a haircut and it's still long. And then you go almost all the way to the ground. You can do it as many times as you can. And then at the end, and now she's bald. And again, I use kids from our class and we all kind of gather around them and just pretend to snip, snip, snip their hair. We don't ever get close to them, but um, they like that one. Um, this old man, he played one. He played knick-knack on my thumb with the knick-knack. Paddywhack, give a dog a bone. This old man came rolling home. And I always pause um, when I wanna say, find the rhyming word, so. This old man, he played two, he played knick-knack on my two. And then we think of a rhyming word, word chew. Um, and we do that one with um, rhythm sticks. If we don't have rhythm sticks, then we can just use our hands um, or other musical instruments too. Climb aboard the spaceship, we're going to the moon. Hurry up, get ready, we're gonna blast off soon. Put on your helmet and buckle up real tight. We're ready for the countdown. We'll count with all our might. And then we go all the way down to the bottom. And then we can either count starting at one all the way up to 10 or 10 and going all the way up to one and blasting off. My dogs are so needy today. There's my other one just whining at me. It must be supper time. Um, this one could be the bear hunt, which is... Um, a recorded song that I, I play, or it could be baby bears are sleeping, baby bears are sleeping in their den, in their den. I wonder when they'll wake up, I wonder when they'll wake up. And then all the kids are sleeping on the ground. Wake up baby bears, wake up baby bears. And then we're different animals. Um, Baby bats are sleeping, and so they all put their feet up in the air, pretend like they're hanging by their toes. Um, baby cats are sleeping, and they curl up, or snakes. Um, again, I ask them what animals they want to be. Two little blackbirds sitting on a hill. One named Jack, one named Jill. Fly away, Jack. Fly away, Jill. Come back, Jack. Come back, Jill. And then after I sing it with that one, I ask the kids, oh, what color are the birds? And then I ask them for a place that they're sitting. And then we think of rhyming names that go with that. So we usually do that one a couple of times. And um, I ask for kid input. Um, I have a couple of seasonal ones that I like to do. Way up high in the apple tree, two little apples smiled at me. I shook tree as hard as I could. Down came the apples. Mmm, they were good. Five little pumpkins sitting on a gate. The first one said, oh my, it's getting late. The second one said, there are witches in the air or bats in the air. The third one said, but we don't care. The fourth one said, let's run and run and run. 
The fifth one said, I'm ready for some fun. Woo, went the wind and out went the lights and the five little pumpkins rolled out of sight. And usually, you know, if you do these day after day after day, they remember them and they hardly even need me anymore. Um, a chubby little snowman. A chubby little snowman had a carrot nose. Along came a bunny. And what do you suppose? That hungry little bunny was looking for his lunch. He ate that snowman's carrot nose. Nibble, nibble, crunch. And then I have a couple that I love to do um, that are... Oh, here's another one actually first. The wheels on the bus. Um, singing that one, getting kid input. Always getting kid input. I love it. Then there are a couple I like to do. Um, actually, there's more than a couple, but I'll share three of my favorites that are, um, you can get on CD if you still use CDs or on, um, Spotify or whatever. Um, we are the dinosaurs and the goldfish song by the Lori Berkner band. Um, she has lots of them, but those are two sticks that I have here. And then Slippery Fish, which um, I don't know who sings that one, but it goes like this. Slippery fish, slippery fish, gliding through the water. Slippery fish, slippery fish, gliding through the water. Oh no, it's been eaten by an octopus, octopus squiggling in the water. And then each thing gets eaten by the other and at the end, the great big whale, great big whale, spouting in the water. And then at the end, he burps and he says, pardon me. It's cute. I'll link it down below. Um, okay, I just want to share a couple more that are transition songs that the kids absolutely love is this one. Down on the corner at the bakery shop, there were 10 little donuts. I just counted how many kids there are. With sugar on top, along came Danielle, all alone. What kind of donut did she take home? And I always have a number line um, on our board, and I have a little yellow square that it came with from Lakeshore, and I move it each time. We say um, a kid gets to say their favorite donut. So then I would say um, a cherry donut, okay? And then down on the corner at the bakery shop, there were... Oh, we gotta move it. We ate one, nine little donuts with sugar on top. Um, and they love to tell me what their favorite donut is. And then I have also not the wheels on the bus with this one, but it goes like this. Um, it all started on a yellow bus when the bus driver said, Danielle, do your stuff. Go, go, Danielle, go, go, Danielle, go, 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 Danielle, go. And I get to choose the color of the bus, so I might say yellow. And when the, everybody's cheering, go, 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 Danielle, I'm in the middle of the carpet, dancing, dancing, dancing. And everybody's clapping for me. And the kids that don't want to do it, they don't have to do it. And that's okay. Um, and then another one I don't have a stick for, but it's a transition song, um, is... Let's see, Danielle and Susie jump up and down, jump up and down, jump up and down. Danielle and Susie jump up and down. Now go wash your hands and everybody will have a turn to jump up and down and then go and wash their hands. Um, and then another one I do, I think this might be the last one I tell you for now is um, I have a guitar and I, okay, I don't play the guitar, I strum the guitar but they love it when I pull out the guitar, the guitar, and I'll strum it and I might, um, I have one person be in the middle and then they spin around with their eyes closed and then our friends just walk around and, and I just play and spin 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 and stop. And then they point at, they have stopped and pointing at somebody, they open their eyes and that person gets to come in the center and replace the other person. So simple, but they absolutely love that one. Um, I actually have a ton more sticks, but I think I'm gonna just share those ones for now because those are really my favorites. Oh, wait, one more. Reach into your pocket, pull out your bubble gum, take the wrapper off and pop it in your mouth and chew it up. 
Mmm, mm, mm. no, take that bubble gum out. Oh, icky, sticky, sticky, sticky bubble gum, bubble gum, bubble gum. Icky, sticky, sticky, sticky bubble gum makes my hand stick to my. Mm, ask so. Ask one of the kids <gasps> to your head. So I pull and I pull and I pull it off. And then we stick it to different body parts. And when we're all done, we gotta take our bubble gum out, but don't put it back in your pocket and don't throw it in the ground. We'll put it in the garbage can. And that's it. So you know what we gotta do now? This is what we always sing at the end of the day or right now at the end of our large group meetings. Give me one hand, give me the other hand. Shake them back and forth and sing. It's time to say goodbye. It's time to say goodbye. We've had fun, but now we're done. It's time to say goodbye. Goodbye, friends. Thanks for watching. Give me a thumbs up if you like this video. Hit the subscribe button. Share your favorite songs down below because I'm always looking for new ones. And I will see you next time. Have a happy day.